Good morning and welcome to the Shack Shack. It's Thursday, it's 10 o'clock and here we are, safe, happy and creative, stay home and craft. My name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp in the UK and welcome to the party. I'm here early and uh, I, I hope that some of you are going to join me now. Let's just make sure that Jilly's in the room with me. Good morning, Jilly. Perhaps you could just check the volume for me and make sure that the sound is okay. Paul is up in, in Peterborough at the TV studios at the craft store. He's going to be, um, he's going to be showcasing some wonderful uh, products at 11 o'clock, an hour from now. So don't forget to tune in to him on the craft store. Good morning, ladies and gents. Hilda, Jill, lovely to have your company. Come on in. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day. Heidi, grüß dich. It's a beautiful sunny day here. And um, it's quite cold. Yeah, it's lovely to have your company. Come on in. And uh, shut the door because it's quite windy up here. What about the weather where you are? Are you getting caught with Dudley? Is it Dudley? The, the storm or is it Eunice already? <laughs> um, let me just see if Jilly is here. Good. All right, Jilly. Right, let's have a look. Good morning, Bob and fellow Shack Shackers. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? Mild panic was setting in yesterday evening because I couldn't think of anything for us to do. And there's nothing worse than a bus driver who doesn't know where we're going, especially when you've got 200 people all standing there huddled up <laughs> in the freezing cold waiting to get on the bus. You rock. And you know, it's quite ironic because um, I'm sitting in the living room and I thought, right, turn the telly off. I can't, I can't think with that noise as well. So I flick the TV off and then um, we've got one of those tellies where it kind of goes to screensaver, you know, lovely pictures. And uh, so I was looking at these screensavers and then um, <laughs> as if by magic, there was this beautiful scene with trees at a lake with a reflection. And I went, that's it. Time to reflect. And I thought, what a perfect, perfect subject for us. It's absolutely bingo. So that's where I got this idea from, from the screensaver on the telly. But what was funny was I turned the telly off and saw it. And I turned the telly off to come up with something in my head. And that was what it was. And, you know, I obviously I can look on the Internet and I do. You know, you could go to Pinterest. There are a million, million ideas. But sometimes it, it, you just can't, you know, it has to tie in with what we're already doing, you know. So I thought, well, that would be great. So I was able to go to bed excited really because I knew where I was going in the morning makes all the difference doesn't it so come on in and then we'll get started um, all you need is a pencil to join in a pencil tracing paper is very good for this one because of course the reflection oh yeah um, and the other thing that I was looking at, you know, because there's no point in always reinventing the wheel or reinventing the tree or reinventing, because you think, well, you know, I've got all my bits here. Um, we've done, I thought I was sitting here this morning sketching away and I thought, we've done trees. So I got my file out because I was drawing, I was drawing a tree and I thought, I've drawn this before. You know, that, that kind of, this is familiar. <laughs> Come on in. Are we there? Uh, the Shack Mystery Tour. Good morning, Ken. <laughs> well, do you remember? It was one of my favourite things that we did. And it was um, the book cover. See if you can remember when we did the book cover. Look, see, I told you we'd already done the trees. And, um, and I thought, well, it's there staring at me. So why, why do it again? Do you remember when we did them? We spent ages doing these trees. They were quite stylized on the rocks. And then we were doing a book cover. And funny enough, this was one of my favorite projects. Look, nice lettering as well. This, this was one of my favorites. And I kept, I've always thought I'm, I want to go back to this because I can see what I want to do in my mind's eye. But then, of course, I've got to write the book as well. Harriet and the Lone Tree. See, 
there's the swing. That's where Harriet lives. So if you can dig out your book covers or your tree exercise, I'll tell you where, where it came. It was near Camelot, apparently, according to my filing system. Cool. Crikey. Do you remember that one? Yeah. Blimey, girls and boys. I think that was when we really, we scaled it up, didn't we? When we were doing the horses. Do you remember? Oh, that was amazing. We went from really simple little scrolls to Camelot. <laughs> but if I'm not mistaken, before Camelot, yeah, look, I've still got to do those. I haven't finished them either. Um, always galloping along. The Lone Tree came. Would that have been after Camelot or before Camelot? Around there. Maybe Jilly will figure it out. It's not that long ago, look. Because that's not that long ago. That's not that long ago. I reckon October, November time. I bet. You can always look this up on the YouTube, can't you? On the YouTube. If Grace heard me say that, she'd cackle. On YouTube. <laughs> right. So get your trees. You've got them at the ready. Yeah, cool. And what we're going to do, I'll just grab this stuff because I want to use it. And then what we're going to do, let's put that to one side. We're going to use these trees for inspiration. They're not hard to draw. If you haven't done these before, it's fine. Honestly, they're really, really easy. But for those of us who have already done it, it's a great... It's a great thing if, you, you know, you've already got the, the template, you can use what you've already got. What have I got here? Oh, more trees. Right, so just a quick recap so that anybody joining us knows where we're, where we're coming from with this. A couple of weeks ago, we started with our lettering, didn't we? And we were doing our lettering. The artist is nothing without the gift but the gift is nothing without work, Emil Zola. And we were using, we, we, we figured out how to use gold leaf to accentuate, like um, Rosina Wachtmeister, one of my favorite German artists. And then we went from there, we went to um, the stalks. We took the stalks, didn't we? And we made, we started a little book of quotes. And this is where we finished. This was, I like this one a lot. I saw something similar to this on Pinterest and I just thought, you know, that is delightful. Minds are like flowers. They open only when the time is right. So that's very pretty. If you're interested in, in look, I've got, do you remember, do you recognize these? I did these years ago. These are the poppies. Um, there are some, because I think it was Julie that said, you've drawn something similar to this. I thought, well, yeah. There you go. So there are poppy stamps out there somewhere in the heavens um, that I drew years ago. And then we've got a book of quotes. So we're quite prolific here in the old shack shack, aren't we? And I thought, right, OK, now we're going for trees. Yeah. Has that given you enough time to find your, your bits and bobs, friends? July 21, Elizabeth says. Was it that long ago? July, last year, July, was when we did the, the book. Hello from Norway. Hello from Norway. Hello from England. Good to have your company. Well, so you've got everything you need. Let me put this chair up a little bit, and then we'll get started. Tracing paper, key. All right. Key. First of all, I did a doodle. I just did a doodle on a bit of copy paper to get the idea, you know, just to get the idea. And um, and you can see the hip because I was considering this. This is what I do at night in bed. I was thinking, do I want to join all the tree, the tree heads up, the trees themselves? And then do we want to draw in between the trees? You know, like in between, that was where I was at. And then I thought, mm, be too busy. It would be nicer if we made hills, put the trees on the hills, and then drew time to reflect in there. That was, this is the sort of, this is the rough map of where we're headed. See? Very, very rough map. 
but it, it kind of took the same shape, same sort of tree idea as these. I just did them a bit differently just to get the, the gist of where we're going. I think it's good to show you a kind of a general map of where we're headed, because I think when you see where we're going, um, it's more logical, isn't it, rather than padding around and then uh, being surprised when you get there. Um, so, so that's what we're doing. And now you'll understand why we need some tracing paper. I'll show you. Right. If we take this now, let's just put that to one side. We're going to use that. But we've got our little outline sketch. That'll do. We don't need, we don't need them. This is my. This was my rough from last time. I'll hang on to that. So what we've got. Let me have a look. Right. We've got some tracing paper. And what we're going to use is half a piece of tracing paper. So half a sheet. And then we'll fold it in half. So take a sheet, take a big sheet, A4, and then fold it, cut it in half, and then fold that half in half. Okay, got it? That makes sense. Let's do it again, slowly. I know. A4. And then what we're going to do is take half an A4, like that, okay, there, like that, half an A4. And then what we're going to do is take that half an A4 and we're going to fold this in half. Okay, so let me get my glasses on. And this will kind of control the size, because otherwise it gets very big, the work. So we're going to do this, okay. I think it's a good idea to fold it, just because. And that, my friends, is the reflection line. That's the water or, yeah, that's the edge of the water right there. Okay. So everything runs off that line up to the sky and down into the water. It's very easy. Very easy. doesn't have to be hard to be cool, does it? If I take a piece of... Let me show you where we're headed. Right, so that's that. I'm just going to turn this heater off. It goes from freezing to freezing to sauna in here. There we go. Right, so we got that. We got that. Uh, there's a spare. <laughs> there's another one, just in case I couldn't find that one. <laughs> right now, and this is where we're going. Look. If I show it to you like this, then you'll get it. So there's the hill, right? There are the trees. You can put a little landscape in the background. And then what you do is, you see, you flip it like that, transfer it, and boom, you've got your reflection. Easy. Let's have a look. So you've got your tree like that. See? Draw whatever you like. You don't need four trees. If you only want one tree, you have a lone tree. Can have one lone cypress sitting all on its Jack Jones, right? But you've got landscape. You could, couldn't you? you could do one tree, then you could bring in the landscape. But somewhere you've got to give yourself a space to write the letter, the lettering, or the the, the quote, or whatever. Time to reflect. See, and then when you turn it over that way, and then you transfer with a pencil on this side, then it it gives you the shape exactly down there, but lighter. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. How's that sound? Are we up for this one? Nice, huh? Yes. Thank you, screensaver. <laughs> I really like um, figuring a path out, don't you? But sometimes, you know, I really enjoy the shack. But when it gets to eight o'clock or so on a Wednesday night and I don't know what we're doing on a Thursday, then a little bit of anxiety does set in, I have to be honest. I was like, this isn't good. Have I dried up, so to speak? Have I lost my mojo after two years? Oh, no, I said. And then as if by magic, Vroom, there it was in front of me on the screen. Yeah. 
Don't you sometimes think that there are hands unseen delving into our lives? I do. I thought that was a higher power there. That was a higher power moment. <laughs> right, come on. Stop larking about, Gray. So what we'll do is we'll take our, our piece of tracing paper and we'll, we'll measure, because it's a good idea to measure it so that you don't go too large. It's about four, four inches, four and a half inches from side to side. Give yourself about four and a half, four and a half inches. Yeah, there you go. So along this edge there, sort of in the middle. I'm going to give myself four inches because then I always end up stretching anyway. So that's my baseline right there. What pencil is this? Rubbish. Get an HB one so you can actually see it. There is a reason why I've got an H there as well. More will be revealed. Right, so you've got your line, about four inches, sort of equidistant, right, bang in the middle. Okay. The, I've got, I'm using an HB, just a bog standard pencil. You know, I, I'm always going on about these because you get different, different um, hardnesses or blacknesses of pen, pen, blacknesses, is that a word? Different levels of blackness. So B for black, 3B, 4B, 5B. These are really soft black pencils. Or, in fact, I think I've got all my Bs in one book. I've got several of these tins, see? Then you've got H, 4H, 5H, H being hard, H for hard and B for black. B, B, black, more graphite, softer, yeah? Hard, sharper. Not so black, though. So when you're transferring your, when you're drawing, you want something that's quite black so that there's something to transfer. But when you're transferring, you want something crisp to sort of chisel out or transfer the graphite very accurately. You know, if it's too soft, it won't do it, especially not on tracing paper, I found out uh, this morning at 7 o'clock. Right. So it's, these are worth investing in. If you, if you can stretch it to a... A tin of these, go for it. Now, so we've got our line, and then we're going to have, and you've got to think now, if you're going to do, I mean, we're, it's a little bit hokey, time to reflect, but I thought it was quite clever. Um, time for reflection, be a bit longer. But what we've got to do is make the hills to actually f fit the words, you see. So if you look here, I sort of undulated. I start down, I go time, down, two, up, reflect, a bit longer. See, so I mean, it's, it's quite straightforward, really. So we go up here, and I'm going to go, let's air right first, time, two. We're going to go, here we go, start down the bottom, and then we're going to go time, two, reflect. I might come back a bit further that way. It reflects a bit longer than time, isn't it? And maybe I want to come up more. So I'm going to go time, two, down, and then right up for reflect. See, I told you I'd come out further than four inches. Time, two, too small, and then I'm going to go up like that. Now I'm happy with it. Of course, it's like the waves of the ocean, but that's the whole point of this. You've got to get it right, otherwise... Because everything hinges on this time, two, there's your little two, come right down, and then we're going to come up for reflect, reflect, nice. So there's your hills, how far out am I? Not bad, don't matter, it's not important. Don't copy grey, you know it never works when you copy. Right, so there's your time to reflect hills. See, if we were doing this without tracing paper, then if you were going to do this, then you, you, the best way to create um, a reflection would be vertically like this. The, my, the eye travels better that way than trying to do this. Yeah, definitely from top to bottom. But the good news is we don't need to do that. So we've got that down. We're happy with that. I'm putting lots of graphite down because in a minute I'm going to transfer that. Right. Then we want the trees in and then we'll put the words in. Are you doing this with me? Are you doing this with me? I hope so. 
If not, it really doesn't matter. If you just want to hang out and do it later, I totally understand. I mean, I watch loads of YouTubes of potters. You know, they're, they're recorded. It, then it's not live like this. I certainly don't have a sense of community like we have. It feels far more like a viewer, like an onlooker, you know, like um, it's not what we, it's not this. But I watch a lot of YouTubes, especially for pottery stuff. And then, and then I go away and do it. I don't, I don't, I don't run parallel to the potter. <laughs> That'd be crazy. I wouldn't be able to watch what he was doing. However, or she, there are a lot of female potters too, good ones. Um, but this is a little bit more simple, isn't it? And also, the the whole the point of this is just to get with your hands and chill. Do you know my glasses are so filthy? They are so filthy, I can't see anything. <laughs> they are disgusting, Gray. Very, very dirty. <gasps> Paul even bought me some um, like lens wipes. <laughs> no vile. Never mind. Got loads of them all over the house. So I can. Oh, that's better. Yes, much better. Ooh. Crikey, I've made a mess of that. Right, you ready? Come on. Cracking on. So I've used my HB for this, and now we're going to put the trees in. So. How many trees do you want? One, two, three, four. The way I did this was I decided how many trees I wanted to put in, right? And then I, I put the stalks in. So height-wise, because you don't want to go mad, otherwise, you know, they're not Lombardy poplars, right? Because it would be way too... Because remember, you've got to factor in the, the, the reflection as well. So my trees are about... The tallest one is the third one. Um, I start at the bottom. About two inches. Yeah, about two inches. So if you wanted to give yourself a kind of a, a limit, then you could just take a, a ruler and just draw a very, very faint line. It's just a... It's a guide. It stops you going further than you may not even need the line just a little dash on the side would probably be enough but do you know what I mean it's just a really thin line like that and then that will give you the kind of the place where you want to go so let's just put the trunks in just the trunks not the shapes of the these bits one two bendy fat right one going that way, one straight up, one to the left. Let's just have a bit of fun. Come on. Put your trees where you like. I'm going to put one there, one in the dip, one there, and one over there. Right, so this one's going to go, I'm going to put it here, and it's going to go like that. And then up, run in parallel. Don't you feel that sometimes, we've done all this before, this one's shorter, and it's going to be in the dip. So up it goes like that. That'll do. And then this one, we're going to go whoa, a bit more. I'm going to go like that. Way, that one's a little bit sweepy. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. So that one's really over the edge, Bendy. And this one's going to come up. It's got to come up. And obviously, there was a little bit of a wind thing going on that side. There you go. That'll do. <laughs> bit of character. That one's got a bit of character. And now we're going to go for the shapes. So what sort of shapes are you going for? Uh, I reckon I'm going to go like that one. They're quite, am I going too tall with these? I put a line there and then I ignored the line, didn't I? Oh, no, that's about right. That's about right. Okay, so I'm going to go, that one's going to be that kind of shape, like a, like a pear drop. And then this one's going to be a little bit more triangular, like that. That's quite nice behind that one. Now this one, it's gone a little bit woo-ah. I mean, I could draw it again or I could just go with it. 
Okay, I'm going to draw this one more like a tree, like a leaf, I mean. Great. Doesn't look too bad, does it? <laughs> I may have to. Where's my rubber? Where's the most sold thing on our, on our website? <laughs> this and groovy tabs, can you believe it? My mum, bless her heart. She um, she packs all the groovy tabs for us. And, uh, of course, in the sale, I think pretty much everybody added a couple of packs of groovy tabs to their order. So mum's been... <laughs> She's brilliant. She loves it. She she likes to be be busy and she likes to be useful, which I think is great. There you go. That's quite a nice one. I like that one sort of squat isn't it there so i've got my four trees ish good enough anyway so i won't go i won't pencil them in heavier than that that's good enough because i still want to put in the um the branches see so the branches are going to change especially if we go with the way we made them in the lone tree see because we we opened them up look let me come up tight so you can see Wee. They haven't got an outer, so the, the little one has, that one has got an outer line, but these ones are sort of open. But I thought, anyway, right, leave those bits because I've got something else in my head that I want to try, but I didn't have time this morning to try it for Monday, a way to colour in the trees. I've got this thought, I saw it once on YouTube years ago, and I thought, I like that. And now oh, I've got no chance of finding it, but I made a mental note of how he did it. And I thought, I bet we could do that. Um, but I've got to practice. Well, I've actually got to try it first. But I remember thinking, that is really lovely. So more will be revealed on Monday. <laughs> right, so we've got our outline, we've got our shape, we've got our layout-ish, and now we've got to put the words in. All right, here we go. Time to reflect. Let's put the words in. Do you enjoy doing this stuff? I love it. I woke up full of anxiety this morning and now I'm fine. And the reason I'm fine, absolutely without a shadow of a doubt, is because of this. Because I thought, right, I've got 200 mates turning up at 10 o'clock and I better know where this bus is going. <laughs> Focus! <laughs> Right, come on, time to reflect. Time to, okay, time's going to go in here. I'm going to go really lightly though. And that, so here we go. Time, we'll use what we've learned. I'm going to come right down like that. I'm going to use the lowercase e, nice, uh, to, to, I might use an upper like lowercase t as well. If you do that, see that's quite nice because it crosses over the hill. It looks better. Right, so we've got time to reflect. Okay. I'll put the R in there, not too small. E F L E C. And then we want another T there though, don't we? So I'm going to bring that out a little bit. Put the old curly, curly T there. Right, let's see if we can get this in. Time to re reflect. I think the T's going to move over a bit. Oh, pink one. The pink is for pencil and the white is for ink there you go right re and then i'm going to take that c and bring it around like that and then put the t in there actually that's a little bit too arty gray forget the t with the big c looks a bit weird right time to rear flecked perfect Perfect reflect. 
There we go. T M. I'm happy with this. And the reason that I'm going back in is because, oh I, yeah, because I need when I transfer it in a minute, I need some graphite on this side, otherwise nothing will happen. Reflect. If you get what I mean. Don't you find this is what we say it all the time. Elizabeth says it. The more you do, the better you get. The better you get, the more you want to do. And don't you find, I, I, for me, I can only speak for myself, but I'm a lot more confident even with my lettering now than I was, say, a month ago. It's like um, the more you do, the better you get. The better you get, the more you want to do. Absolutely true as true. So I've got my time to reflect now. That looks nice. Now we've got our... I'm going to avoid this bit, though, for the moment, because I want to put the, the branches in and that. But I've got my shape, haven't I? Actually, I'm going to have to put this in. Come on, get it in. Right, okay. Get the shape in. Otherwise, we can't transfer it, can we? Right, this one. Okay. HB pencil, because it gives you... I think I want to go so that that one's touching. Did you watch the... I'll tell you what I did watch the other day, which was really quite interesting. Um, landscape artists, you know, I don't, I'm not keen on those Jeopardy programs like Pottery, you know, the throwdown. I, I, I always I hate it when they... I feel that they're treading on someone's dreams when they eliminate people, you know, and they compete. Because, I mean, art is such a subjective thing. Who's to say that that person's art is better than that person's art? I'm not quite sure how that how that stacks up. You know, depends who the judge is, right? It depends who the judge is. Depends what you're looking for, what criteria, you know. And I, but I was watching the landscape artist and the four finalists, and then I was looking at the the ones in the field. There were about fifty artists having a whale of a time in the field, just joining in, like um. I don't think they called it the Joker. It was like a random uh, artist they would pick as well. And uh, the artwork was spectacular in the field. Spectacular. I mean, the four, the four finalists were pretty spectacular too. And I did like the mixed media. I loved the mixed media one with the, the on the brown bag. I thought, yeah, we do that, don't we? Huh? Yeah, we do. So I thought, yeah, well, that's not... That's not new, is it? We've done that before. Drawing on old bags or on, on manila or craft paper. I get that. With white. I thought, yeah, we've done that in the shack. <laughs> Welcome to our, our little world. But her work was superb. And, um, and the way she did the trees in that was very good. I like that. And then another lady there, she was doing, with tissue making, clouds and, and using um, like applique. And I thought, yeah, we've done that. That's, oh, that's something that we do too, you know. And it's interesting how much we touch on as crafters, you know. We really do have quite, um, we call ourselves crafters and artists. I'm cool with that, you know. I'm an artist, I'm a crafter, call me what you like. Just don't call me late for dinner. But it's like um, you see all this, this art and you think, well, that's what we do. That's exactly what we do, isn't it, you know. So, so don't be too, don't be too uh, self-deprecating because these people are on national TV and I was watching, there was one chap I thought he was absolutely supreme, like, you know, but then again, that's just beauty in the eyes, it's in the eye of the beholder. That was just my opinion. And opinions, my friends, are like noses. Everybody's got one. So we've got our time to reflect. Have you got yours done? I always waffle to give you a chance to catch up with me as well, you see. I like this. And I'm procrastinating because so I'm not sure what to do next. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know what to do next. Let's get the shape in. What we're going to do now, so we've got our shape in. We've, we've generally got our, our composition ready. And then what we're going to do is fold on the line. You've got to fold it, though. That's why it was good to fold it before because it will already have its score. You should be able to find it quite easily 
to score it back the other way. Make sure you're on the right fold, otherwise it won't work. That's it. Okay, yeah, bingo, look. If you've got it in the middle to start with, you'll have it in the middle now. So we've got our... Yeah, cool. And we'll turn it over, like so. And now we're going to transfer that graphite to the to the water. That makes sense. Now to do that, I'm not going to use an H because I was doing this and I thought, oh, this isn't coming out at all. I was having to press really, really hard. And then I thought, right, okay, change pencil, change pencil. So I went to an H pencil, and it was much, much easier. Where this gets really good, this is like. Uh, this is like um, uh, parchment writing backwards. I mean, we have got deboss plates where you can write forwards for people who can't be bothered to write backwards. There are deboss plates out there because I thought the same thing. I thought, why am I, why am I struggling with this? Um, why don't we just deboss the writing? Nobody's going to get that close, are they? <laughs> We do have deboss plates, but this is a really cool thing to do because, um, right, H for hard. See, if I do it like that, it comes out really well. So let's get the let's get the hill in first. Make sure that's in place, and we're transferring the graphite. See. It's a perfect reflection. So now we'll get the, the words in. Time. See, this is this would be quite challenging if you had to do this. Have a look. Check that it's working. Certainly is. You only need it to, to transfer lightly. You can always go back in and redraw it. But at least it's the right, the trees will be the right height. The letters will be in the right place. Reflect. Time to reflect. How many trees did you draw? I just decided to go with the four again. For fun. There you go. When I turn it over, it's in the water, see? Right, trees next. Trees next. I'm going to use because I'm I can I'm aware that I've got I'm transferring graphite everywhere. I'm going to I'm going to use a piece of copy paper to lean on. Right, here we go. Let's see if this works. And we're using a hard pencil H. I mean, there are harder pencils available, but H will do the job, I should think. For the transfer have a look check in checking yeah can you see it is there you see that it's good enough for me anyway and then we'll put the the shape in because all this is our composition this is our our template isn't it and on your on your original whether you choose to do all four trees or just one of them is in you in your hands, friends. Right, here we go. Let's have a look. There we are. I think it's cool to take something that we've done and put a different spin on it, you know, like to take these trees for example on the pebbles do you remember the way we did it drawing a um a book cover i really like that one but to take those trees and put them in a different in a different setting and then to add another spin you know with the with the reflection i think all that kind of thing is that's the whole point of of, of learning isn't it that you 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 take something that you've already learned or you've already mastered and then you you re revisit it and put another spin on it when you go back over the last two years well do you know 
today, we ought to celebrate on Monday, 250 hours. We will have been, Monday is 250 hours of hanging out in the shack. That'll do. See, I missed that line. Sorry. 250 hours. That's a lot of hours there. So I've got my shape. And now I'm not going to run my fist through that lot because that would really <laughs> make a mess. Make a big mess. And you can add things to your... Let me turn that over so it's clean. So here we go. Time to reflect. And I've got my reflection as well. It's going to be lovely. And I'm, I'm using a brush to get rid of when I rub things out and that so that I don't use my fingers and smear the graphite. I'm using one of our brushes. Any brush will do. Right, so we've got that. We've got that. Done that, done that, done that. Now, let's have a look. Next thing we want to do, I wouldn't mind putting a, a, a moon in or a sun and some hills. So, for example, I think to do that, though, I'm going to have to put in a, a, a frame, a framework. See how I, I took that curve and I went round really kind of like a window. Put a window in. Gives me something to work towards. So if I put a window in there like that, I'm going to come up not too high. Doesn't matter. Make it any height you like. But let's come up here. I'm going to go to about, I'm not going to, which one have I got? H, H, B. I'm going to come up like this. Up we go. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going a little bit. Uneven. That's nice. I need to probably reinforce that a bit so there's enough graphite to transfer. It's actually a very simple process. Isn't it? I've got a hankering. Do you know this would be lovely as a as a lino cut? Well, Barbara, why don't you? Wouldn't that be nice as a lino cut? I think I'm going to have to... It's time, friends. It's time. It's like, oh, when am I going to find the time to do all these things? Right, so now I've used my HB on that one. Turn it over like that and now transfer to the back. I'm going to use my H now. Oh, and I want to... I'm going to bring this round. Let's just come in there like that. Use my H to transfer. Okay, good enough. There you go. So I'll come around here. Because I'm a lefty, I'm pulling it over my... That'll do. And we'll pop that paper down so we can keep it straight while we're working. So we should have the water now. There we are. Bit, missed a bit there. So we've got our reflection. Now the next thing we probably want to do is I put some hills in. Do you see? There's a hill there, comes across there and down there like that. And there's one up here that comes all the way down and goes back up again. Right. Only because I think, right, that, did, did I, did, were you able to see that? By splitting up the background, when we go to colour in, we've got areas to colour in. So the more hills you do, the more the more contrast you can create in the background. So when we went to when we did our lone tree, for example, you can see I had I had the hill there, then I had a hill there with fields, then I had another hill over the back. So it was just yeah, and that uh, and there was another hill behind the houses. So it's just layers, isn't it? Depth. Oh, that's all right, though. Be nice. So let's put a couple of hills in the back now. Let's do that. Hills in the back. Let's have a think. So I want the top hill to come through like that, really. I don't and then I want it to come back up the other side. Let me just flatten this down so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, flattened. 
I think what I want is one that's going to go like that across the back. That's going to go like that. It's coming up, going over, and it's coming back down the other side. So that'll do. What pencil have I got here? Swaps to HB. You know as soon as you, that it's harder. There we are. So that's the first one. That'll do. And then this one, I'm going to bring it in from the top like that, and it's going to come down like that through there and then I think we'll come round it's going to be quite a good one this and then it's going to come up oh I'm not sure about that though too high up over the tree that won't work we might have to do three you know mm -mm. so I'm coming down like that or do I want to come like I might change this one up let's do this differently take that out change it up let's make this in a bit more of a, a valley let's make a valley right so this one then it's going to come down to a point here there you go up on the valley like that and then this one can come down like that we sweeps down and joins over that's behind that one see so you've come down with that one you've got that one in the front now you've got three going on so you've got three you've got the front Middle, right at the back. You could keep going. You could put another little hill there if you wanted. You could go back and back and back and back, and it would look like the highlands. But then you've got to consider that you've got to do that in the if anything you do up here, you've got to put it down here. So best to keep it simple. That'd be nice. And then the last thing we need to do is put a little sun in or a sunset or something. So we need to we need something round to draw around. Have you got any? Well, it's always easier if you've got something to draw around, isn't it? Hey, eh? she says. What have I got? I must have something that's the right size. Just come with me a minute while I look. Um, that's quite a good size. Not too big. Let's have a look. Dorso oil. What do I think? That's about right. It doesn't need to be bigger than that, hey. Right, so now let's have a think. Where do we want to put it? Should we put it over there? Should we put it bang in the middle? Should we put it behind that tree? I'm going to put it there, like that, behind the tree. Excuse my head. There, that's nice. Right there. Right there, she said. What have I got here? HB. So I just need to put a little bit more graphite down so that I can transfer it. Nice. Okay, folds over, turns around. Now what have I what have I not got? Oh right, I haven't got the hills yet either. Okay, hills. Uh hard. It's funny, you know, as soon as you start, we're gonna bring that valley hill in the rolling hill there you are and then we'll bring this one in this way okay oh a bit tall good enough and then we need our sun be lovely i can already see the colors that we're going to use on this i think i'll pull this in from the bottom it's easier for me to Sweep round like that. Make the artwork come to you. Cool. Love it when it works. Right, so now we've got the reflection, haven't we? That'll do. So we'll just flatten it out a bit. So just to recap, it's all right, this, isn't it? Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Let me come out a little bit so you can see it better. There you go. Right. So you've got the you've got the hills. You've got the the lake, haven't you? There's definitely a lake there. So we've got that line there, right? That's the lake line. Right. But what we've got to do is just join this bit up. And I think the nicest way to join it up is like that. Just like that. There you go. That'll do. So now you've got your lovely to make a lovely 
like a lovely piece of art. Well, that's what it's for. And hey, what about a couple of birds? Are we are we in for are we in for the birds? Like that? Hey? Thought you could have three's a crowd? What do you think? Which way shall we have them going? That's it. Just do a little, try it on a bit of scrap first. There's a whole flock of them. I'm going to put them, they're quite small though. One, two, and the furthest one away is further down like that. Now nah, that's not enough, is it? Should we put another one? three? I'm going to put another one in, lagging behind, four. Oh, well, now we're here. We've got to put a little tiny one in. In fact, there's one. <laughs> Right. Okay. I've got enough now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got a whole family going now. Right. <laughs> so now I've got to put them in as well, haven't I? Because they will show in the reflection. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lucky number six. There they are. Okay, so now we've got that. So what we've got to do, though, in order to be able to transfer this to the other, when you would transfer the whole lot, right, you've got to think, think it through now. So we've got to reinforce the reflection. We've got to reinforce it. We've got to go over it one more time. So that's something that we can do very gently with an HB, HB right? because it's a reflection and we know exactly now it's going to be perfect because obviously we transferred it it's a nice um what's this an e oh yeah it's because i've missed a bit it doesn't it's not stacking up i'm having to look sometimes you you miss a bit don't you there we are. Just look underneath then. That will clarify it for you. Reflect. Well, I hope you're enjoying this. I wanted to say as well, right, yesterday we put them on the website because we're always looking for new art, you know, new art to stimulate us or new, like this, you need something new really to uh, even though we're taking an, a spin off an old project like the lone tree you do you do look for new things to um to color in to doodle because it stimulates the mind you know it adds interest uh, we we've been coloring in i've got some new i've got many of you have already gone to the website and bought the set that we're launching i said a couple of weeks ago that we would bring out a new set of um things to color in beautiful art card just beautiful um and so i did show it to you we launched it last night on the website it's gone pretty crazy so i was on the phone to lisa saying print more print more so she's doing that and we really appreciate your support on this but it would be really lovely for us to be able to i mean we've got the feather tova we've got the marina feather tova poppets and we've still got several of those to color in we've still got the um the feathered friends i looked you know we've done so many of those there aren't that many left but we've still got the feathered friend postcards so we can always bring them in during the course of the year as well but i thought it would be really great to uh, bring in a new a new selection and um the the um our friend mel turner she's she presented us with this artwork a while ago actually uh but it's really spectacular and we've put together this set of woodland creatures it's a coloring art pack but we thought this you know what we're going to hold this back for the shack so let me just show you this because i think you understand what we've got to do we've got to reinforce this so that you've got a perfect reflection all right and then on monday what we'll do is we'll transfer the whole thing to a piece of card that's what i think we'll do but i wanted to show you this because it's already 10 to 11 and i can feel that time is slipping away from me here and if i don't promote this if i don't show you this 
then what will happen is um, you won't be able to order it. And I'll want to start with this in a couple of weeks' time and you, and we won't have been able to send it to you. So this is um, the price. It's it's more than this, but we're, we're, we're calling it £12, right? And I want to show you what you've got. So you've got these four incredibly beautiful pieces of artwork, okay, drawn by Mel. These are coloured in by D, D Paramore. So what we've included in this set, Lisa's done all this at work. What we've inc included is a print, A6. And you can, can you see that there's a grey line for cutting out? So these would be beautiful, just for inspirations really, to show you. It's a colouring key, isn't it? You don't have to do it like this, but some of us really enjoy having something to work towards. So, so that's that's been given to us by by D. And then what we've got inside the sets, let me just show you. We've got we've got the large ones, right? Let me just. I was looking at these yesterday, and and then of course while I was looking at them, I mixed them all up. As you do just bear with me a second because i right so that's that one and then you've got that one there right and then you've got the large ones as well oh and then you've still got those ones there as well okay i'm on it it's only because i <laughs> i'm foolish like this right let me show you and then you'll understand that's the six right so what we've got i wanted to show you from the from the largest down to the smallest because that's the the best part, really. Okay. Right, you ready? So what we've got in each pack, you've got, this is an A4 piece now, and it's not really thick line art, so you can, but it's very easy to see, right, very ultra fine line art. And this is like an A4 piece. So, so these are the A6 pieces, right? So each one of the beautiful artworks has got one A4, so it's a framer, isn't it? And, and I spoke to Lisa, and she's going to make um, a fr mount board um, to fit this. Um, so this one, for example, with the stag, well, that's the autumn stag. And then we've got the the one with the the owl, the the owls and the stag. This is rather beautiful. This is the woodland family. So you can see you've got the four of them. Then you've got this one, which is the March hares. So you can see the hairs in there. See, it's when you see them coloured in, it's it's easier to see what you're looking at. You've got the March hairs, you see, and then you've got so you've got the stag, you've got the and this one is absolutely beautiful. The summer friends with the foxes and the owl, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So so you've got the large ones, right? So you've got the four large pieces to colour in. Then each this is really good quality card as well. It's it's like our stencil card. It's super smooth, very robust. So for watercolour, it would be ideal. 300 GSM. You can feel it's really good stuff. Right, good gear, good gear. And then we've got the same. We've got four more sheets, but on those, in, you've got two of each. So these are A5, and you can see there's a line down here. So here you've got one to test and one for best, if you like. But you've got two of each. So you've got 2A5 of that one, 2A5 of the deer, et cetera, et cetera. See? So you, they're, they're doubled up then. So you've got those ones. You've got four more sheets with the A5 on. And then you've got four more, but this time you've got your A6. And this is the same size as these, okay, except you've got four of the stag, four of the hares four of the the owl with the that one which and then the one with the the foxes which i think i'm in love with the fox one that one so you say you've got four of them four of them four of them four of them so you've got a really brilliant coloring art pack there and you haven't just got one piece and then it's like well if you if you mess it up you've messed it up you know um it's top quality it's beautiful it's ready to go it's what we're going to be using in the shack. It's a, 
It's original artwork by our darling friend Mel. It's beautifully coloured in by our darling friend Dee. And then it's wonderfully printed and collated by our darling friend Lisa at work. And I think, you know, for 12 quid, that's pretty, pretty good. So, so do head over to the website and um, treat yourself to this. And in a couple of weeks' time, I think in March, we'll, we'll take one of these on as a project. You know, and and what am I going to use to colour in? I'm going to use, um, well, you get what you pay for. I'm going to use my polychromos, okay, because they're beautiful. Um, I also I have to say that the pergoliners, which are the less expensive set, they're pretty good too, right? So if, if your budget stretches to just the pergoliners, you've got... You see in here, you've got 20 watercolour and 16 blending pencils. And then you've also got the 12, that set of 12 polychromos that you can use to supplement this, this tin, uh, this box, because it's got all your greys and your beiges and that, the polychromos. So it's up to you. You could use any colouring pencils you like, but we're definitely going to go with colouring pencils if we want to get that magnificent effect that D got, okay? So I wanted to pitch that. I wanted to show you that because otherwise, you know, this is just something new and it's for us in the shack. We're keeping it here. And, um, yeah, you know, I think, uh, I think it will be really, really um, pleasant. That's the word, pleasant to do. So let's have a look. Just moving on. Wild card. That was it. Thank you, Julie. In the, uh, in the landscape, uh, artists, the 50 people that were in the field, they were the wild cards. And, and then the judges go around and they say, right, well, you, you're good. You 49, not so good. You're good. You could come with us, right? I'm not, I'm this, it goes against the grain for me. The, you know, but I guess people put themselves out there. They know that they're gonna be judged. If you're sitting in a field, and they're only going to pick one wild card. You know, you've got a one in 50 chance of being that wild card, I suppose. Um, but I'm sure that most people just go along for the gas, you know. Uh, yeah, I certainly wouldn't. I, I put myself out there enough. I wouldn't, I wouldn't enjoy that at all. It's not my bag. No, I do it because I enjoy it. And, and I know that you enjoy this. And that does me. That's good enough for me, friends. So, so what we'll do on, on Monday, you do us a favour and um, reinforce the reflection end. So you've got the same picture, like literally reflected. And then on Monday, what we'll do is we'll take a piece of stencil card, right? I reckon, is that going to be big enough? Let me just check. This is the stencil card. I just want to make sure that, that we... Get a piece of card that's big enough. Well, it is. It is big enough. I may go to the larger stencil card, the 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 the, the bigger one. I've got. I'm sure I've got some. There's a larger size. It's like that big. It's a it's for a gel press. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm definitely. I'm going with the larger size because then that way. If I decide it's wonderful and I want to um, and I want to frame it or I want to put a doodle frame around it, I want to do I've got a little bit of wiggle room, you know, definitely. So so I'm going to use this. You could use what you've got in your cupboard, but I'm definitely going to go for the, um, the stencil card. All right. And on that happy note, it's 11 o'clock on the nose and you must, if you've got time, join Paul at the craft store. For Pergamano. Uh, have a lovely day. Jilly, thanks for your help. Thank you for your company. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you on Monday at 10 o'clock. Lots of love. Bye-bye now.